Welcome to the Out of This World Show. Seven Major Battles Fought by the Egyptian Pharaohs. Number 7. The Battle with the Hyksos. The Hyksos invasion of ancient Egypt was from the 13th dynasty onwards. Egypt experienced a period of social disorder and unrest. Many Asian foreigners took advantage of this situation to gradually infiltrate the land of the Nile where they all managed to reach military positions and or work in crafts and trade. This move set the stage for the violent occupation of the land by these Asians. Known as the Hyksos, who would rule for two centuries and impose their own dynasty. Number 6. The Battle of Kadesh. The Battle of Kadesh happened in 1274 BC. The Battle of Kadesh was between the armies of Ramses II the young pharaoh of Egypt and Muwaitel II the king of the Hittites empire, plus a few allies. The Battle of Kadesh historians and archaeologists base their facts on the reliefs found in the structures of the ancient Egyptian temples, where Pharaoh Ramses II narrated in hieroglyph drawings of the reliefs about his development in the war, and making this fact one of the main themes of his reign. However, archaeologists have also found several such accounts of the battle drawn in the temples located in Hattusa, the Hittites' capital. The Battle of Kadesh has the interesting characteristic of being the first battle documented in ancient sources. Number 5. The Battle of the Delta. The Battle of the Delta or Battle of J. The Battle of Delta is an important land battle between the Egyptian forces of Pharaoh Ramses III in 1184 or 1153 BC and the Sea Peoples in their conquest of Egypt. The conflict took place on the Delta in the eighth year of the rule of Ramses III. In the battle, the Egyptians, under the personal leadership of Ramses III, crushed the Sea Peoples, who were all trying to invade the country by land and sea. But almost everything we know about the battle comes from the mortuary temple of Ramses III at Medinet Habu. The description of the battle and the prisoners is well documented on the walls of his temple where the longest hieroglyphic inscription is also known to be found. The hieroglyph depicting the battle provides much information about this conflict. They show Egyptian troops and their chariot against another enemy who also used chariots. Number 4. The Battle of Megiddo. Battle of Megiddo, in ancient Egypt. The Battle of Megiddo is one of the first battles to be recorded in full detail in ancient history because after the death of Queen Hatshepsut in 1468 BC, the young pharaoh Thutmose III rose and occupied the throne in 1457 BC. Thutmose III assembled a strong army that was over 20,000 men, and he had about 1,000 chariots, possibly simulating that of Ramses II in Kadesh. Also among them was the elite corps of the Egyptian army. But the Nubians, Specialists in the use of the composite bow for the first time there is a written reference to its use. This force meets up at the Chara fortress. Then the pharaoh decides not to wait for the prince of Kadesh and his army to advance towards Egypt. So he advanced them first and attacked them on their own ground, besieging Megiddo, which is 300 kilometers away. Number 3. The Battle of Pelusium? The Battle of Pelusium also known as the Cat's Battle of Pelusium. Pelusium was an ancient city of Lower Egypt, located in the Nile Delta. In the easternmost mouth of the Nile called the Pelusium Mouth. Once known as Ostium Pelusicum, Pelusium was the first major battle between the Achaemenid Empire and ancient Egypt. This decisive battle transferred the throne from the pharaohs to Cambyses II of Persia. It was fought near Pelusium, an important city at the eastern end of the Nile Delta. 30 kilometers southeast of modern Egypt's port said, in 525 BC. The battle was won through a very unusual strategy on the part of Cambyses II. It was the use of animals as hostages and, above all, cats. They knew that the Egyptians would be scared to attack if they painted the cat goddess beset on their shields and it worked. Number 2. The Battle of Perir. The Battle of Perir was fought in 1208 BCE. It was between the new kingdom of Egypt, led by the pharaoh Merneptah, and a large coalition of Libyan tribes, along with a large contingent of sea peoples. But the Egyptians gained a decisive victory over them all. 
this was the first of many encounters between the Egyptians and the Sea Peoples. However when the battle actually occurred, the Egyptians gained a decisive victory over the Libyans, killing 6,000 and capturing 9,000. Number 1. The Unification Battle to Unify Upper and Lower Egypt Palette of Narmer shows a unified Upper and Lower Egypt. On the Palette of Narmer is one of the oldest and most important testimonies of the ancient Egyptian pre-dynastic period. It is actually a cosmetic palette, a stone slab with a central cavity, in which pigments were mixed for personal makeup to be applied. However, the palettes acquired a purely commemorative function and were made of precious materials. Also, the palette of Narmer is made of schist, and made in almost a triangular shape. It is about 64 by 42 centimeters and is dated to around 3000 BC. It was found in 1898 among the relics in the Temple of Horus in Hierakonpolis, near Edfu, and is now located in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Thanks for watching. Now please like, subscribe, and share for more of the Out of This World show. Also, check our store for all the Out of This World merchandise. Located on the upper right hand corner of our channel. And if you like what you see, please donate so we can keep the channel going.